Hi everyone, welcome to Colouring with Kay and thank you for joining me today. So in this video I am sharing a wonderful new book by Colour Year. So they contacted me on Instagram and asked if I'd be interested in receiving and sharing this book on the channel and I said yes, it just looks right up my street. So Wonderful Little World Volume 3 and it's called Hobbies. So um, I think I showed the Volume 2 uh, wonderful Little World book um, a few months ago so this is the new one so this is all got the theme of hobbies beautiful cover and the same design with the spiral bound at the top and then this is the back I will of course link the um, the um, Amazon Earl basically where you can buy buy this so of course let's get started so yeah it's in the same format so we have just make sure that this isn't too bright so it's the contrast is oops it's a bit too dull oh i think i switched it off then <laughs> sorry for that um i think my hand just turned it a bit right i think that should be all right um okay so we've got some uh i guess this is the nameplate page and um this is a daffodil there. so yeah same lovely thick cardstock that we're all used to and then you've got some information here in different languages um, a QR code and yeah lovely little design there around the edge with leaves okay so this is our first image I'll bring you in a little bit now I guess I am going to be turning this book around as well so this first one um, by the way, I haven't looked through this book yet, so yeah, it's the first time I'm going through it with you. So this looks like a, I don't know, looks like a magician. A magician cat and then a bunny there and there's a little hedgehog there as well. And yeah, it looks like some magic is being um, brewed here in this little room. That's quite interesting. Looks like my uh, sitting room, that, with the beams going across okay so yeah landscape here again they all going on a little walk so you've got different animals there i like this one <clears throat> i must say i do like this one cooking and baking i think oh they're making some buns it's lovely so what i'm hoping to do is i am hoping to color something from here and then show you at the end if I get a chance, I will I will insert the clip of a picture being completed. But this is just a quick flip. So here, I think they're playing a game of well, it could be anything really. Is it um, chess? Could be. Oh, that's quite uh, good. And then this looks like they're at. I don't know. They might be doing some sort of calligraphy. Look, a cute tortoise there. <clears throat> and then back to the um, landscape campfire that looks like a little mouse up there uh, this looks like an artistic sort of a hobby drawing <laughs> thank you um, next one um, like cycling maybe yeah cycling so great um, thick cardstock again uh, I think this one looks like um, what do they call those the you know I've just forgotten the name but it plays lots of different songs um, Gosh, can't remember. But anyway, there's daffodils here, so it's a very spring-like, very spring-like indeed. I'm sorry, I'm, I have to keep turning it around. Uh, that looks like another artistic one. I'm not sure what it is though exactly. Then we've got this gardening. Well, they are planting some looks like lettuce fishing definitely fishing that's quite 
quite cute. Oh, this, this one is really, really nice. I like this one. Working on a car, um, like a like a mechanic. Oh, that's a lovely one. I do like that one. Definitely. He's inside the uh, car engine. Oh, I do like that one. I must say. Um, and then we have this one where it looks like another. Yeah. I mean, it could be flower arranging, but yeah, some sort of gardening type, gardening type one. Knitting. I love the um, window scene to the outside there, which looks quite nice. I'm not sure which one I'm actually going to do for, which one I'm going to attempt first. This one looks like a makeup, yeah. Oh, doesn't it look cute? All doing makeup. I love the level of detail as well. Um, I think I'm going to play around with the mediums first. Um, I do believe it is the same smooth paper, smooth cardstock as the other book. I think this might be meditation. Yeah, it looks like meditation to me, that one. Oh, look at this one. This one's quite detailed. Definitely a painting one. I think this person's painting a picture. Well, not person, but... Little mouse-like creature. I like that one. And then we have this one. It's a bunch of cats, really. Oh, these are cats. That one looks like a... I don't know, it looks like a rabbit to me, that one. He's having a lot of fun with the um, little uh, cotton wool ball. Photography. Got a teapot behind her as well. Oh, this is pottery, I think. A little dog I've been making a little pot there sorry for knocking the camera and then this one looks like a jigsaw puzzle see that one's not as detailed as some of the other ones so there is a bit of a variety some more detailed some less detailed You've got this little hedgehog and his little hobby is reading the books almost as big as him. <coughs> so yeah, that's quite cute. Oh, I do like this one with the tortoise on it. Looks like he's painting on the tortoise. Can't really make out what is this. Is that like the underside of a mushroom? I'm not too sure. I can't really make out what that is actually. Right, I won't waste your time by staying on that page too long. Um, this one looks like a boating trip. A lighthouse in the distance there. Oh, I like this one. I do like underwater scenes. I know it's not everyone's um, preferred theme, but I do. I like water and ocean themed things. This one looks like he's making a statue. A sewing machine, so it's definitely a sewing one there for a hobby. Let's have a look at this one. Looks like yoga again. A yoga of some sort <laughs> something that I'm trying to do a bit more of um, not sure what this one's showing he's passing him some wood so maybe they're doing something like woodwork type stuff yeah they've got a lot of tools here in the back in the cupboard and there's a saw there as well and that's it 
that's all the pages so a lovely book it's going to be quite difficult for me to choose a picture out of these but yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna try to find one and see if I can actually complete a page for March and if I do I will show you um, in this video um, hopefully if I don't get around to it I do apologize and hopefully you'll see it in my completed pages for March so I hope you enjoyed that quick flip and until next time guys take care bye hello again everyone um, I am back a few days later about four days and you might be able to tell by my voice which is quite bad <laughs> So I sound really raspy and croaky and that's because um, I think I'm coming down with a chest infection. So yeah, this is only a short clip to show you the picture that I completed in this beautiful book. Whoops. Um, that I was sent by um, Colia. So Wonderful Little World Volume 3 Hobbies. And yeah, I used lots of different mediums on this. I mainly enjoyed using my ink tents. I've got all ink tents intense on the uh, tortoise or turtle not sure um, the distinction between the two and then I used um, my museum aquarelle Caran d'Ache watercolour pencils as well which I really enjoyed using I used lots of different gel pens I used metallic paints as I usually do and I used um, pencil on top for extra shading and then this in the background is magic fly metallic watercolour paint and it was really fun doing this page and I'm hoping to do more in the coming months. I've got some Pentel Dual Metallic Hybrid there as well. So yeah, it, this obviously is really good card, good quality, um, very good quality paper. So it's pretty much like card and uh, it was really fun working on this. So yeah, that's my completed page. And I just wanted to show you also that before I did that I was just testing out my mediums on this paper and um, um, I, I test I'll just bring you in a little bit closer so you can see so you can see here I've got Artex pencils which I like to put a tick next to it if I like the way they worked Holbein pencils I wasn't too keen on how they worked on this paper um, they seemed a bit faded out and I don't know, they just didn't work as well. Polys worked really well, Arteza worked really well, and Prismas, I put two ticks there because the Prismas worked absolutely beautifully. I really enjoyed using my Prismas on this paper. Um, so you've got quite a lot of pencils that work well on it. Ink tents worked lovely, Albert Dura did. My Arteza brush pens, I didn't really like how they... They, they wouldn't really blend out with water very well. But my other water mediums, like my watercolours, my liquid watercolours, um, worked really well as you can see the sky background that I did with the magic fly metallic paints my pro markers are here so they blended quite nicely on this paper as well so I thought I'd quickly show you that as well just just in case you're interested regarding medium so this beautiful book is available on UK now I will ask um, again like I did last time when I did the I think it was the volume volume 2 book that was out the wonderful little world volume two if this book is going to be available in the u.s and um the lady did say that they are trying to get it available in more places so i can ask again because i know it's disappointed when disappointing when you can't get hold of a book in you know where you are so yeah i hope you enjoyed this flip through and this final little clip with me showing you my completed page I do apologize for my voice um but it's actually a bit better than it was a few days ago. So anyway, happy colouring. Take care. Bye.